Hey, hi guys. Uh, today we are going to talk about input attachments and uh, uh, swap chain handling in Vulkan. Um, each time when I start to work on my engine and on my spare time, I'm like trying to listen to my heart what I uh, currently like really want to do. And uh, for a long time, I uh, was trying to understand how can I properly handle uh, input attachments and uh, like several different render targets in uh, Vulkan. I never worked on uh, such task. Uh, it was my first like uh, personal attempt. And uh, I just only saw some kind of approach in other engines and uh, how people are doing this. Uh, but anyway, uh, today's video will be more, I guess, technical. Um, I will not... Uh, trying to impress you with a new lighting or uh, object uh, handling uh, system or something, but I hope you're still gonna enjoy because I, I just like spent maybe 10 hours doing this, uh, if I will sum it up. So, uh, when you usually when you try to draw a triangle in Vulkan, you use, a, like you create a swap chain image and image views. You usually just use this swap chain image to draw your, for example, first triangle and uh, present it on your screen, right? And um, it's not optimal if you want to make a big engine uh, and like do more stuff than just a triangle because swap chains, they are uh, super dependent on the resolution that you use like uh, sometimes it's also format dependent and uh, yeah it's just like I guess the like main main stuff that will you will see when you will try to I don't know create a shadow pass or something like that and uh, usually you just want to handle some uh, input attachment that you will pass to your uh, shader uh, and you will like draw something there uh, do some I don't know maths or something like that and then you will just copy your input attachment to the swap chain and present it uh, how I knew that it could be done and like I wasn't able to find some like bunch of uh, tutorials or something and like maybe maybe there are somewhere but I, I i i suppose that i can google information but like i didn't just find lots of them i uh used two references uh vulcan guide uh web and of course uh, sasha williams tutorials and like his uh, approach i used at the end uh so what did i know about uh swap chains and like input attachments i knew that we have to create some kind of uh, image. Yeah, we will allocate it and then we will uh, like uh, uh, do some kind of memory barriers. We will uh, have this like uh, color attachment as our main image. We will pass it to this shader. Um, we will do memory barrier again. We will uh, copy the image to the swap chain. We will do memory barrier again and we will present the image. I I kind of heard somewhere that it's not the best way to do when you have like hu huge amount of render passes or something like that. And like you, you won't do this uh, with the, I don't know, 10, 10 input attachments. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, you can correct me. You can write your own, uh, I don't know, uh, experience with this. Anyway, I, I just knew that like, uh, overusing of memory barriers will uh, can lead to some kind of undefined behavior or errors or stuff. Uh, we will see my cat here also. I hope she will support us on our uh, way. Uh, let's start with uh, uh, checking out my engine just to be sure that everything works ex ex as expected. And uh, uh, so I will just load the level with the models. I really like the grid, it's just my obsession. And I will, yeah, it's just funny now to change colors. It's still funny. Okay. 
Okay, so here we have a render doc. I will open uh, already uh, saved capture that I was uh, capturing when I was testing uh, how my engine behaved and how it started to behave after I updated the code. So Uh, so the principle here is pretty diff uh, is pretty uh, simple. You have an input, uh, and it's my texture sampler, uh, and output. And uh, I capture just my main screen, and uh, you can see that it like basically what it does. You can see here the uh, command uh, from Vulkan that it's called. It's uh, like CMD draw indexed and uh, it gets the sampler and it draws the sampler into swap chain image. You can see it here. Also, I have here uh, that attachment. Uh, yes, so, and that was, <laughs> what the, that was actually all. And now we will do a new capture and check out how it now looks like. I did two captures, captures. And I did two captures. Uh, let's start from this one. And you can see that here we are beginning render pass and the same comment is called. Uh, we are having also input uh, attach, uh, input sampler and we are uh, drawing it to the 2D color attachment. We didn't have it previously. Uh, and yeah, so then we have, uh, uh, we are calling CMD next sub pass. I will show it in the future. And uh, now uh, at the second sub pass, we are calling CMD draw and I'm just taking input color uh, and drawing it, to, uh, like copying it into a swap chain image. And after that, you can see uh, draw calls th that are made by uh, Imgui. Yes, so that's actually uh, that's it for the this particular frame. The same uh, is basically happening in the frame with the models. I have a texture sampler attachment. I have uh, my color image where I'm drawing the uh, sphere. I have depth attachment where I am drawing the depth of sphere. Then I have uh, for the cube the same done. For the monkey, the same done uh, for my cube. And after uh, also this, yeah, uh, grid. And I have second pass where I am uh, beginning next sub pass of my render pass. And uh, from input color attachment, I am copying it to the swap chain image. And that's it. And also in GUI, yeah. Uh, uh, actually, like this. Mm, this achievement uh, made me super proud and happy because I wasn't sure that I can implement something like this. And it's like always tricky part when you like read some kind of documentation, kind of gui guidance, and you have like to uh, 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 implement it in your own uh, implementation. And just like you suffer struggle. I was reading like Volcast specifications. I was reading some kind of presentations from universities with the, uh, how Vulcan uh, layouts, image layouts works and stuff. And just like, I guess some, some kind of my like knowledge leaks uh, are finally mm, closed, I hope. Uh, also the videos, they, uh, ended up being uh, longer than I expected, but like what I expected uh, when I was like doing it 10 hours, I should known that. But anyway, um, I will guess uh, separate uh, my uh, discussion about uh, sub passes to two videos and uh, I will leave code review to the next week and I hope you uh, won't be disappointed. Okay, then bye guys. I hope you enjoyed and see you next week.